All right, what's up guys? I'm Rachel Brooks Smith. And I'm Shane Griffin. We are here at Whole Life Balance, one of my favorite places in Santa Monica, so make sure and check it out if you're here. Uh, just give them real quick, they do, we do some they do silks. Uh, silks, nutritional consulting, IV drip therapy. Vitamin drips are so cool. <laughs> I love them. Fastest way to deliver nutrients to your body that we know how to do it. <laughs> With that in mind, we want to do a really special rapid fire video of the biggest health misconceptions uh, that we can think of as fast as we can just for you guys. So, number one, we just said it. Uh, you're uniquely yourself, uh, so healthcare should be Unique. Yeah, unique to yourself. You are all different, and you should understand what is going on with you, so you yeah. can you can treat yourself as unique as you are. Come to the places like this, where it's like personalized healthcare. That's the best way to do it. Uh, I love giving health advice, but again, what works for me might not work for somebody else. Yeah, and they can you know, and it's and it's affordable now because we have the software. Yep. Misconception number two. Number two would be salt. Salt has an inverse relationship with water and they are compatible and they require each other. Your muscles will get dehydrated without enough salt to yep. hold the water. Salt attracts water. Mm -hmm. they're, um, they're a marriage of sorts. Okay. Is there a good and a bad type of salt? This is, this is why salt has been given a bad name. Is mm -hmm. because processed table salt, it's iodized salt, which means the iodine has come out of it. They've ripped that out of it because it used to be bad, um, or determined to be bad for thyroid issues. However, any salt, and this is a good way to go by it, it can be Celtic sea salt, Himalayan sea salt. If it's got color in it, it hasn't been processed. processed. Yep, so, so sea salt is the way to go. Sea salt is good, and you should just look in the aisle. If it's yep. got pinks and browns and greens, get it. The Number misconception three. of sugars. Yes. Everybody thinks sugar is bad. I have a dear friend of mine who hates sugar, um, <laughs> but, <me. laughs> but but we have had the conversation. We're on it. No, well, it's, it, it, she's doing everything actually right, getting the sugar in vegetables, there's sugar in fruits, uh, there's sugar in a lot of the foods we eat, but there's a difference between glucose, mm -hmm. sucralose, and fructose. Yep. Glucose is the uh, currency of our body. Mm -hmm. Our body communicates internally through glucose, so we require sugar, but we require complex sugar. Yes. And we explained a little bit of that in the yep. last video, but that's a myth, is sugar is bad. Healthy sugar, absorbable sugar, a tap metabolically associated rate sugar okay. is good. So when it breaks down over a long period of time, your body uses it, especially So we should go brain. eat a lot of candy bars because they no. have sugar in them? No, absolutely not. That's the wrong kind of sugar. That's, okay, wrong sugar. That's All the right, wrong sugar. Wrong. As much as I would love to have a cookie right now. Um, and we do because we are about whole life balance. Yes, it's not whole life balance. Yes. It's not whole life perfect, it's whole life yeah. balance. Yeah, exactly. I love and, I, and I do have sweet <laughs> We do. And so. I have dark chocolate probably every day. Yeah. Um, you know, so I think it's just finding, uh, yeah, it's about living a balanced, you know, I, I call it work-life integration and, you know, being disruptive of what makes you the best you and the happiest yeah. you. Number four. This is one that is going to be hard for some people as well. First of all, chronic dehydration is rampant all over mm. the world. We are, yes. no, we don't drink enough water, but here is the myth that I want to tell people. You can drink too much water. Yes, and I've done that before. <laughs> yes, so if you are active and you're working out and you're training, yes, I want you to drink water, absolutely. I want you to drink water with some salt so that we can sea keep salt. those sea salt, of course, yep. together. But when you over drink water, the job of water is to contribute in the constitution of filtering out your liver yep. and kidneys with your blood. The minerals and nutrients that you may have eaten earlier that day that are going through your body, you're going to help digest them fast with water and they will be secreted through your liver to kidneys to urine. So you can actually diminish your self-nutrient base by having too much water. I don't know too many people that do, but I do want you to know that you could. So the best way, the easiest way that we tell people to do is take your weight, divide it by two, that's how many glasses, eight glasses of eight ounces of water you should have. Five that I want to talk about is that fat is bad for you. Absolutely, God, I hate that. Uh, it's so good for you. Fat is very good for if you. If it's good fat. Yes, and that's the difference between trans fats yep. and saturated fats. Uh, and this is a big one for me because I used to eat like low carb, low uh, fat and high protein diet. And as soon as I switched, uh, finally allowed myself to switch to trying a high good fat diet, a lot more avocados and olive oil and salmon and nuts. I mean, I literally wouldn't even get olive oil on my salad because I was scared of because it had a lot of fat in it. Um, as soon as I changed that, I automatically felt like so much, like I used to have crazy brain fog and like problems focusing and energy and I constantly would crave sugar and food all the time. Uh, and, and when I added fat, I mean, it, I didn't feel that. Like and anything. do you want to know why the brain fog went away? Why? Because our body, our brains are made up of 30% fat. Actually, my, I think it's actually more than that. It's 30% water and 70% fat. 
Wow. So without, we'll check the stats on that. I will. I could be wrong 